Yep. So, this is not what I was expecting. When Ashes of Creation teased that Carfin reveal in the live stream for February, I fully expected to see a full party of eight head into a dungeon and take on some bosses when we finally see it next month. Potentially even seeing them grab some cool loot, maybe complete some quests, showing off our first look at a dungeon and the gameplay surrounding it. But now it seems that that is in fact not the case. As this tweet seems to explain, Intrepid is just showing off the area of Carfin in the March livestream and not doing a deep dive of the dungeon. So this means while we may see some bosses like Laurie Lament pop up, we probably won't see a full group run through this area and clean up some mobs and take down these bosses. And if we do see any boss engagement at all, well, it'll more than likely be with a four-man party using some GM cheats meaning the first true boss fight that we will see for Ashes of Creations Alpha 2 could still potentially be the Cyclops world boss that they have been teasing. But this isn't exactly a bad thing because even if Intrepid is just showing us around the area, which is right here on the mini map, I imagine that we will still be able to see the ruins surrounding the tower and some of the creatures that reside there. Along with it being a very lore heavy area, for those of you who are like me, we'll probably get some hints at that and I am really more excited for the lore than anything, I am just a lore nerd, it just kinda happens. Especially when it comes to this broken moon hanging out in the skybox, potentially being destroyed by the blood magic performed here that turned the surrounding lands into undead. Which all should be pretty interesting, like I said we know that Carfin resulted in turning its residents into the undead so we will probably see some more undead creatures here within the area. Probably those similar to what we saw in the November livestream with a cleric and in the teaser you can even see this dead monstrous creature laying below the ruins which looks to be as though it is this guy that was teased on the Halloween video for Ashes of Creation perhaps being a boss that you could take down leading up into the tower. There could be a chance that if Intrepid is showing Carfin they don't actually go into the tower at all because Carfin is not just the tower. There are ruins of this ancient school scattered around the tower with the tower really being the centerpiece of it. We could perhaps even see more of a questing area further away from this tower as the ruins really start at the Minotaur area shown in the Ranger reveal and you can see the tower is still a ways off in the distance in this video. And I feel like that is probably more of what we're going to see in the March stream. The surrounding areas leading up to the Tower of Carfin, saving the inside for that first dungeon playthrough when it's ready to jump into. It'll probably be with Steven within a party of three or four like he usually does taking on some lower level mobs outside of the dungeon. Honestly, although I don't expect it, this would also be a great time to show off the mage class. Since we are exploring the ruins of an ancient mage school, it really just kind of ties together. We last saw the mage in Alpha 1, but seeing how the caster combat has changed since the combat revamp would be pretty fun. Although I really doubt we are getting a class reveal next month at all, on top of the exploration of this massive area. If we do get inside of the tower though, we will also be able to see the designs and layouts which are a big part of boss fights. Although we may not see boss is being taken down, we still could see some rooms where these future boss fights will happen, along with the space provided, the levels to the dungeon, and we could potentially even see if there are multiple ways in and out to see how linear this dungeon is or to see if it's a bit more chaotic. It'll honestly, it'll be very interesting to see how Intrepid designs this area and how much it stands out from other dungeons we have seen in past MMORPGs. Regardless, if Intrepid is giving us gameplay in this zone, I hope that it is not like November or January showcase and is a well put together organized walkthrough of the zone maybe giving us some lore tidbits and explaining certain things and why they're happening showing us some creatures as nobody wants to see another slapped together video that was put together hours before the live stream began intrepid seems to have heard that feedback and now they need to follow through on improving the showcase for us watching at home Personally, I'm a little disappointed. I feel like we were led astray a bit because they've been teasing Carfin, but I guess they never directly said they were teasing the dungeon and just the Carfin area. I was fully expecting a dungeon walkthrough here, but I guess we're not getting that yet. So a little disappointing, but I will get over it because seeing a new part of the map and what could potentially lie within it is still pretty exciting to me, especially if we get to see bits of what the dungeon looks like. Are you excited to see the ruins of the Tower of Carfin in March's livestream? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of era. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.